Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K-E-S-H-W-A-N-I, Keshwani. We are here because we want to improve our math skill. Today is our lesson number 192 in the series of basic math. So they will have our 12th lesson in the series of 15 on the topic of probability. Today we'll do a very simple, very straightforward question. Here's, here's the problem. We are told that we have two actors, two, pe two people, A and B, and we are told that they are working independently. In other words, these two events are going to be two independent events. We are told that A has a 60% chance of succeeding. We are told that B has a 70% chance of succeeding. We are being asked to find out what are the odds, what's the probability, what are the odds that that they will both succeed. If one person has a 60% chance of being successful and the other one has a 70% chance of being successful, what are the odds that they will both succeed? Now we know from day number from day number 181, from day number 181, the very first lesson that we had in the series of 15 on the topic of probability, we know that if two events are independent which they are here, we are told that they are working independently. If the two events are independent, then the odds of both of them are happening. Odds of both of them happening is simply the product of their individual odds. It's simply the product of their individual odds. If you flip, if you flip a coin, each time you flip a coin, each of that event is an independent event because the odds of getting a head or a tail each time is exactly half, regardless of what happened in the previous toss, regardless of what's going to happen in the next toss. These the, the probability of one event has no influence on the probability of the other events. They are all independent. Therefore, the odds of getting two heads in a row is half times half or one quarter. Odds of getting two heads in a row or odds of getting a two tails in a row or odds of getting a head and then a tail or tail and then a head. They are all the same. It's just half times half. It's one, one fourth, 25% chance of something like that happening. Same thing going on here. We are simply going to multiply the odds of A happening with the odds of B happening and that will tell us the odds that they will both succeed. We are told that A has a 60% chance of being successful. We are going to write it down here as 6 over 10. And you will see in a second why I wrote it down as 6 over 10. And B we are told has a 70% chance which is 7 over 10. That's all it is. That's all it is. Now 6 times 7, 6 7 is 42. So that's just 42 over 100. That makes life easy. 42 over 100 and that's simply 42%. That's simply 42%. Let's do the next problem. What are the odds? What are the odds that they that they that they both fail? What are the odds that they will both fail? Well nothing has changed. Nothing has changed. What are the odds that they both fail? Or if they phrase it like this, what are the odds that neither neither succeeds? Same exact logic, same exact procedure, same exact rationale. Instead of, but the only difference is now instead of multiplying their odds of succeeding, we're going to multiply here their odds of not succeeding, their odds of failing. So, what are the odds that neither of them succeed, which is the same as saying, what are the odds that they both fail? Well, that's simply, so what are the odds that neither succeed is the same as saying, what are the odds that they both fail? Well, that's, that's basically the odds that A will fail. This is how we indicate A will fail with the bar on the top times the odds that B will fail. That's all it is. Nothing has changed. Same exact logic except instead of a success, we are talking about a failure. We are told that A has a 60% chance of succeeding, which means he has a 40% chance of not succeeding. Similarly, we had a 70% chance for B of, of being successful. Therefore, he has a 30% chance that he will not succeed. Same exact process as I said before, 4 times 3 is 12, so it's 12 out of 100, which is simply 12%. Let's do one more. Let's do one more. What are the odds? What are the odds that, I'm going to squeeze it here. What are the odds? So one more, C. What are the odds that at least one succeeds? At least, at least one succeeds. What are the odds that at least one of these two people will be successful? 
the odds that at least one of them will succeed has to equal has to equal one minus the odd that they will both fail. If you take away the probability that they will both fail, if you take away the probability from 100%, then whatever is left over must be the odds that at least one of them will succeed. We already know what the odds are for both of them failing. Right here we did it. There's a 12% chance that they will both fail. So it's simply, it is simply 100 minus 12%. That's what it is. 100 minus 10 is 90, so it's going to be 88%. It's the mirror image of it. The odds that they will both fail is 12%, therefore there is an 88% chance that at least one of them will succeed. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.